Hey everybody, this is Lynette Chandler from techbasedmarketing.com. Today I'm going to show you how to very quickly and very easily install WordPress on your web host account. Now, most people, what they do is they would use Fantastical, but if you have cPanel, you actually have another option other than Fantastical. Uh, sometimes maybe your web host does not offer Fantastical. Uh, look for this option here. Okay, first of all, I'm going to log in into my web host control panel. And now that I am in, I'm going to look for something called, all the way down here, called Site Software. And if you don't see it, sometimes it's really hard to find what you're looking for in this whole list of things I know. Even though I, I'm pretty familiar with cPanel, sometimes you just don't see the, the tree for the forest. And what you can do is you can just go and type this site. Okay, and then it will bring up this site software. You may have uh, more matches, but this is a quick and easy way to search your cPanel. Click on that. And then you will be presented with a list of scripts uh, that you can install. Now this list may be longer for you because your web host may offer you different things, but this is what I've turned on. I've only turned on two things, which is WordPress and PHPB3. So click on WordPress. If your list is longer, uh, look for WordPress and click on it. Now, okay, it will give you some scary notices here. Uh, for the most part, I think you can just ignore that. And then it will present you with the license that is that comes with WordPress. And then what you do here is you enter a admin username that you want to use. I definitely recommend you do not go for admin. Uh, we want to try to make our installation as secure as possible. So we want to change this to something that's definitely not admin. And then you give it a password for demo purposes and because this blog will be deleted instantly after I finish this video. I'm just going to put something really, really simple. And you type in the password again. And then you enter your email address. And then this is very important. Where do you want your installation to be? Now, if you want to install WordPress in a a folder of its own, let's say blog or WP, you can do that. You enter that here. And if you want it to be on the domain, the main domain itself, all you need to do is just not put anything in that box. Now the next part here is very, very important. Table prefix. Now technically, if I were manually installing this, I would change the table prefix. Uh, just to make my installation a little bit more secure because WP uh, is very common. Almost everybody's blogs are, WordPress blogs are installed using WP prefix. And if you don't understand what I'm saying here, that's okay, don't worry about it. But leave it as is, especially when you are installing WordPress using cPanel add-ons because at the time of recording, there is a little bug with this feature if you change this prefix here, it's not going to work and you have to reinstall the whole blog all over again, like s delete it, everything and start all over from scratch. So definitely leave this as WP, very, very important. And I do want to create a new database here. So I'm going to leave that as that and click install. We'll take it a minute or two and that's it. Now it, c it will tell you that it has installed WordPress on that uh, URL and you can go ahead and sign in with with the credentials that you have just installed WordPress with and if you go back to if you click that link it will show you uh, previous installations and you can actually manage it or you can uninstall the blog so that was pretty quick and simple I hope you enjoyed this video and if you need technical training come on over and Check out all the different courses and tutorials that we have over at techbasedtraining.com. And if you just want to chat, say hi and come on over and see me at techbasedmarketing.com forward slash blog. I'm always there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.